They're not giving me in, bro. So that's my man. He's playing FIFA, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> no worries <laughs> right cool guys. so guys Dominic here with Stare Down TV I am here with Jaru the Nightmare Shepherd Jaru how are you doing my friend I'm great brother man can't wait for Saturday next week man that's it mate 13th of April we'll be fighting uh, on MTK MMA show you're going to be fighting Calvin Reynolds and uh, is this a, is a rematch did you fight in the amateurs yeah um, I beat him up for three rounds of the amateurs and that was two years ago now, and he's like, um, he's like one of them ex girlfriends that that are still bugging you about how you done them dirty or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, he, uh, just given given him what he wants, and he can just leave me alone after this. Well, I said, mate, it's a very very different uh, sort of landscape. You know, since you've gone pro, you fought on some big cards. You fought for you fought on Bellator two hundred. You fought yeah. your your debut was in Barma. You know, you fought on you fought on MTK before, and you fought on UC MMA. So you fought on some big stages, and now you're coming back yeah. to MTK. How personal is it between you and Calvin? Then is it is he just abusing or? Um, do you know the thing is, yeah, um, we had how it started was um, I was at my mate's um boxing fight in um where was it? Not Gillingham, um, somewhere in Kent, anyway, and. Well, actually, actually, um, it was outside UCMMA the first time I met him, and then he just started mouthing off like, "Oh, he was drunk and stuff," talking about he's the best middleweight, and I was a bit tipsy. And I'm like, "Hold on, you're definitely not the best middleweight around, especially you know can't be speaking like that in front of me, kind of thing." And then that like, we got into an argument, and then I saw him at the boxing event like a, like a month later or something, and I was like, um, "Well, what like do you want to have to like?" We'll call up Dave O'Donnell and um, we'll get this fight going. And he was like, this was before I even um, had a fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, and he was like, oh, yeah. So we just had each other on Facebook. And then, um, yeah. So I, I had my f- first amateur fight on him um, on Killer Cam, MMA 1 9 in the first round. And then I requested to fight him for my second amateur fight. And then I beat him. And then ever since then, for some reason, he thinks that the judges weren't fair, but it was clearly evident I won every single round. Like, for, like yeah, he didn't press on me, but like, there wasn't a fight where you would have thought, oh, do you know what? Jay's losing because it was uh, he was walking into shots left. Fair enough, mate. You know, looking on paper, your record and his record, you know, you're two and two. He's he's zero and seven, I believe, as a pro. You wouldn't think this is a a matchup that's been made, but obviously you can see there's some animosity there. And you're coming off a very very impressive victory. You know, you had a first round finish, it was like you know, under thirty seconds. That was only a couple of months ago, so it's a quick turnaround from you. What made you want to go on to the yeah. MTK? Was it just they, you know, they inquired about getting you on back on MTK MMA, or did you want to? Um, did you want to have a quick turnaround? Um, yeah, do you know what, um, I actually like how MTK, um, deal with things, you know, like, um, they pay, they pay good money, and, um, just, just, just the way things are organised and set up, like, they, they deal with, they deal with the fighters really well, and, yeah, I wanted to get back on, especially when I thought it was, um, when I was told that it was, the next event was at York Hall, mm. um, I've never fought at the York Hall before, it's a, it's a, it's a prestig- prestigious venue to fight at, so, you know, I fought at Wembley twice, fought at the Troxy three times, um, fought at the O2 Indigo, and now, yeah, this is just one of my on that I get to take off the bucket list. Absolutely, mate. Is um, you know, your call is iconic, and you're the second person who's fighting on the card who said to me, "MTK treating really well." Like uh, even at the weigh-ins, as food spread out, everything like that. It's uh, it's yeah. a really good show run, and you got obviously. I spoke to. Uh, Tony Hall about him. he was saying who's fighting on the card he was talking um, yeah MTK pay well and now we've got MTK coming in with new ownership with uh, John Gillies you know he works closely with Darren Till and Mike Grundy yeah. um, he's a manager so it's it's a very very interesting uh, time for MTK uh, for yourself you know say it's another quick victory for yourself would you be wanting to do another quick turnaround or would it then be a little bit of a break for you um, I'm, I'm always training, so um, 
I'm 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 developing by by the week. So yeah, me, I just want to stay active. This is this is this is all I do. Like I'm I'm uh, I, I train full time. So like yeah, I just I just want to stay active. You know, keep 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 the water weight seen on notice. And um, later on this year, I'll be dropping down to seventy kilos to the lightweight division. Oh really? You're gonna be going lower? Yeah. What what sort of sparked that? Just you know, you want it while you can. Well, I went to train at um All Stars um training center in Sweden. Um, like fighters like um Alexander Gustafsson, Ilya Latifi, um Reza Mad Dog, Madardi, and Jonathan Weston. Um, and yeah, some of their weights, middleweights. You know, they they're they're massive. <laughs> like. And I was advised to. I've got my um, I've got my nutritionist, Yanis Fleming, Mr. Sport. And yeah, we're going we we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna come up with the plan to to drop down to seventy, and we'll do it comfortably as well. Nice, mate. So how many, how big of a weight cut are you doing right now? Uh, um, I've got but well, I've got four kilos to go, man. So like, that's it for mid for middleweight. Like it's that's the it's it's it's, it's easy. Brilliant to hear. So, you say you train full time. For you, what's the uh, what sort of like when you're on the downtime? What's your fun thing to do? Is it play FIFA? Yeah, <laughs> play FIFA, um, UFC, um, a couple of shooting games. You know, Call of Duty and stuff. Um, oh, I like to have fun. I like to go out and stuff. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, just just the general things. I like eating. A lot. <laughs> yeah, we'll so, food. Oh, mate, you can't beat a good old steak. It is good, to be fair. Any recommendations of where to go for anyone who's coming to uh, to London to eat? Um, There's a lot. Vapiano is a good, that's one of my favourites. Um, sexy fish, actually, in central London. Real good. Real, real good place. It's a little bit expensive, but, you know. It's worth it. Like, yeah, it's worth it, man. No. Going back to FIFA quickly, who's your go-to? Everyone's got a go-to team. Who's yours? Um, do you know what? I've been playing with... Um, I've got three teams to play with online, and that's Juventus, Inter Milan, and um, Barcelona. I just got into Division 2 for um, seasons as well. So. Is that Xbox <laughs> or PS? PS, man. Um, I've, I've had an Xbox in the past, the 360, but my heart always goes back to Sony. Yeah, I don't want to get all, I don't want to get all Calvin Reynolds on you here, but you ain't touching me when I'm Man City. That's all I'm saying. Ah, oh, stop it! I'm a United supporter, man. I'm a Chelsea fan. I ain't a Man City fan, but uh, EA Next hate sports. Chelsea. EA do Chelsea dirty every year. They do not. They, they do. don't give their team the respect. So I I can't be them. I mean, I'll try to, but they they You're make right. Morata so slow and everything like that. So I, I have to. Um, yeah, he's. Um, I I bought him for my um ultimate team, yeah, and I've got him on my Valencia team for um, yeah, I I, I use Valencia for manager mode, yeah, and yeah, they, they, yeah, they done him dirty, man. He's, he's two years ago, than... two years ago, he was phenomenal in FIFA. They had him and Isco just tearing up Madrid. The second he goes to West London, they're like, yeah, no, he, he's slow now. You can't do it. So you know, I got a. The way I play, I'll, I'll go for the Man City way, but um, Chelsea till I die. Man City, Man City are phenomenal, phenomenal on the game. Everyone's a Liverpool fan these days as well, aren't it? I say, my mate, you know, all I pray is Chelsea finish fourth and Man City win the league. That's all I care about this season. That's uh, that's it. Where do you think United are going to end up? Oh, mate, we got. Oh, do you know what? I don't know, man. Like we got done by Wolves, didn't we? So... <laughs> So it's it's a squeeze. It's 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 closer than it's closer than it's ever been. I think at the moment. It but really I can't is. Have Liverpool in the Premier League. No, it really is close. And do you know what? I genuinely think if Spurs hadn't gone into the new season already, they would be struggling. They seem to struggle at Wembley, but now they've got. You know, they had their first game against Palace. They won it. I think they're going to be high on the momentum now. But uh, if they stayed at Wembley rest of the season, I think uh, they would have dropped off. But we shall see, mate. It's yeah. It's, it's down to the last game. It really is. I think um, my prediction, I likely, honestly, is going to be City, Liverpool, Spurs, and I just think Chelsea and um, United are going to be going to be tracking out. But I'm going to go Chelsea, obviously. 
Uh, do you know what? I have, uh, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. It's, it's, it's just one of those ones, man. New yeah, manager. Yeah. We would have been worse off if Mourinho was there, so... And that's it, mate. So for you now, obviously, you said you've only got four kilo to cut. Um, yeah. What's these? What are these next what, eight days like for you now? Is when does training start winding down? When is it full focus on the camp? Or oh, sorry, on the fire? Like what's what are these next eight days like for you now? Um, it's just you know, um, eating eating well, and um, just literally staying staying on point and staying fresh and uh, not not stressing the muscles too much. Can't break down the muscles too much because. I want to be feeling fresh for a fight there. And I will be looking good with a nice haircut. <laughs> getting a fit. Yeah. Nice, mate. What, um, so diet-wise, now you said you're getting nutritionist. Is there like a certain calorie thing? Is it just, is you not even counting calories? You just know what you need to eat to get the sweat going, get the body weight off? Like, how's it looking um, now? Well, we drop portions. So it's like, um, we, like the food gets weighed. You know, so I'm never actually really, I'm never actually really feeling hungry since like I've done some, since since I've um, been working with Mr. Sport. To be fair, so like he's really good at what he does. Um, he he does like a lot of UFC fighters, some Bellator fighters, Cage Warrior fighters. So yeah, man, he's he's the man. Brilliant, mate. You see, so many nutritionists now talking how they don't want to starve their fighters; they want them still eating. Just and they want to be literally sort of sweating off those last couple ounces as they step on the scales and it's straight back to refeed. So it's definitely beneficial. You see it with the UFC PI, stuff like that. They're trying to change the game, stopping people just sitting in saunas for an hour and you know, eating spinach and tuna. So definitely Well that's that's the thing for, for my MTK for my last MTK fight, like I was in the sauna for 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 ages on way in morning and I was I was there, yeah, I felt like I was dying and it just it just it was awful man. So you know, I left it too long because I never I ever had a problem getting down to seventy seven and um let's just say I was a bit too 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 confident and mm-hmm. and a bit too too um well, I needed to be a bit more disciplined. Mate, well, that's, I mean, you, you learn from these mistakes. You really do. So, eight days away. I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm not going to take too much more time. Any predictions for uh, for Calvin Reynolds? He's going to throw everything I'm throwing at him. Just put it that way. I'm looking to show something different about myself, like how I am in the gym. And, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and make it look sexy. <laughs> nah, brilliant, mate. That's good to hear. I ain't, I'm not going to add you on PS4 yet because I don't want to like, knock your confidence before your fight. But after the fight, <laughs> we'll have a game, all right? 100%, man. 100%. All right, perfect. Look, Jay, I really do appreciate the time, man. Uh, enjoy your rest of your day. Enjoy FIFA. And uh, we'll be seeing you in eight days' time. Thank you, brother. Take care. Look after yourself, man. Andrew, pal. See you later. Take care.